Welcome to our WooCommerce troubleshooting session. Today, we're addressing a common issue that many developers encounter when customizing checkout fields. Our viewer has successfully created custom fields, but is struggling to save them in the database. Let's dive into the details of their challenge and see how we can help them resolve it. Welcome back to another tech video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Guys, remember to stay a little bit crazy like me and find that resolution. Now, let's continue on. Let's start by reviewing the code you have for creating custom checkout fields in WooCommerce. You have successfully added new fields, but now we need to ensure they are saved correctly. Next, we need to check the action that updates the order meta. You are using the WooCommerce Checkout Update Order Meta action, which is correct. However, let's ensure that the field names match what you're trying to save. In your update function, make sure the keys you use in the dollar post array match the names of the fields you created. For example, you have recipient phone number but in your update function, you are using recipient phone number, which has a space. After making these changes, test the checkout process again. If everything is set up correctly, your custom fields should now be saved in the WP Post Meta table. Finally, to display these custom fields in the WordPress dashboard under WooCommerce orders, you can use the WooCommerce Admin Order Data After Order Details action. This will allow you to show the saved data in the Order Details page. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To resolve the issue with the WooCommerce Checkout Update Order Meta action, the user needed to upload multiple fields. They created an array of field names and used a loop to update the order meta. They also added custom fields to the checkout process using the WooCommerce Checkout Fields filter, ensuring that the fields are displayed correctly. For displaying order details in the admin area, they use the WooCommerce Admin Order Data After Billing Address action to show the CIF value. Lastly, to include the SIF in order emails, they suggested using the WooCommerce email after order or table action. And that's it guys. I hope that video helped find the resolution you're looking for. If it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit subscribe. Until the next time you need more technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.